Hello, here's just a short snippet of what's included in my three-point bowling course. Um, the course is broken into three sections, uh, theory, drills and video analysis. In the theory, I cover back foot landing, delivery stride and front foot landing. In the drill section, we look at uh, drills to help implement the theory that we've just learned. And in the video analysis section, um, we help you to analyse either yourself or your players' videos. Um, you can find the link to the course, the three-point bowling course, in the description below. And I hope you enjoy the course and find it helpful. The front foot plant is the absolute most crucial part of the bowling action. It is at this moment when all the energy that the bowler has generated is transferred to the bowling hand. The position of the front foot at landing plays a critical factor in the bowler's ability to be in a stable and powerful position to release okay, the ball this drill is our shoulder med ball throw drill. Okay, what we're doing here is we're learning to progress from our shovel throws into an overhead shoulder throw. Where we're learning to, again, separate our hips from our shoulders, alright, and transfer this energy up the right, kinetic chain. We're looking at how to analyse the three-point bowling video. Okay, so here we're going to go over the main points of the three-point bowling action, as well as release point and follow through. So you know what to look for when you're analysing your own video or your player's video. Okay, so when you start here, back foot landing, you need your drive knee, you want your lead knee to be driving out towards the target, and your back leg is going to start to align itself in a linear direction, where you can then drive off in the delivery if stride. If this is executed correctly, the bowler will bowl off a brace front leg, and all the force generated from the ground is transferred into the upper body and ultimately into the ball. Our back leg is fully extended towards the target. Again, our head is very neutral. Okay, our arms are continuing, continuing to rotate towards the target. And our back leg is now fully extended, the extension of the ankle, knee and hip flexors. It is so incredibly critical that the bowler is able to develop good stride power and hip to shoulder separation. This is a result from efficient Extension in the drive leg in a linear Lead direction. Lead knee ready to drive out towards the target, keeping our shoulders closed. Then we're going to drive out and stabilize our front leg. Okay, so there you go. That's a very quick overview of all the different aspects of the three-point bowling approach.